Yo guys, what's up? I'm Just for MLB Baseball Blogs, and guys, we have our newest official, AJ, and he is just really excited to do this with us. AJ, what's going on, man? Yeah, nothing. Uh, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, David Wright and Dallas Braden are both on the disabled list now, and we're going to talk about like uh, what a uh, good alternative for both of these guys, and like uh, how good these guys are, and like happens to me to their team yeah so let's talk about the the, the david wright and uh injured david wright injured has a back fracture and he's going to be placed on the 15 day dl you could go with david murphy but you can also go with justin turner aj who would you take uh, i'll take justin turner uh i like his uh uh bat i think he's a little better than uh daniel murphy yeah so, could you consider that while David writes out, do you think ju uh, he'll have will be a good bat for New York? Who, uh, repeat that again. Do you think with David Wright out, do you think Justin Turner will have a great at bat for him? Will, will be a good yeah, replacement. Yeah, I believe so. He could uh, do something good for the Mets. He just he just started his career. Like he hasn't had that many opportunities so far. You have to see how good this guy could do. Absolutely. So now we're going to move our way over to Oakland. With Dallas Braden, this guy just had successful surgery today. You got Tyson Ross making his way to the rotation. How well will Tyson Ross go for Dallas Braden? Uh, he's, he's been in the, in the Oakland uh, system for a pretty long time. Uh, he's pretty good, uh, but he's just a rookie. Yeah. I mean, looking at this rotation, you got Trevor Cahill, who had a, who's having a great season. Brett Anderson, yeah. Gio Gonzalez, Brendan McCarthy, and now you're putting Tyson Ross in. He's been re he's got he's been replaced for Dallas Braden for quite a while now. So, do you think with Tyson Ross in the rotation, do you think it's going to be an, an improvement, or will it be the same as it was before? I think it might be a little worse because uh, Dallas Braden is a pretty good pitcher. Uh, by uh, he hasn't been. He's been okay, you could say, after that perfect game he pitched last season. And if you see his stats, they haven't been really good, but we'll just have to see what these guys can bring to the Oakland Athletics. Yeah, athletics because... Are, yeah, my apologies, continue. Athletics are a pretty unpredictable team. Uh, they're like a phase I call like a rebuilding phase. Like, they'll sign like cheap, uh, good guys that used to be really good back then, like back... A while, but uh, some some teams like these can be really good. But yeah. Oakland days are very unpredictable. Yeah, but I think with the accomplishments so far this season, everybody thought that they're going to be in first place and possibly make the playoffs. But right now, if they just keep on doing decent, they just got to keep on winning games. They got to keep on winning. Since Dallas Braden, I was hoping that he can actually pitch on the twenty second. Dallas Braden. From last season, it was the 22nd where he pitched that no-hitter. Dallas yeah. Braden Day is coming up, and guys, Dallas Braden's on the DL. So, a downfall for right now in MLB with Dallas Braden. But, guys, AJ, this is our new uh, official right now. AJ, thank you so much for coming on, man. Thanks. It's a privilege. Talk to you guys later.